This weather don't make any kind of sense. It's second day of spring, end of March, snowing yesterday. Today is bright and sunny. Today I want to talk about making a photo book. So last summer I had my wedding over in Hawaii. We got our pictures back and I never actually printed anything. So I came across the book module in Lightroom which integrates directly with Blurb and allows you to very easily make a photo book. Now if you don't have Lightroom you can also do this with Blurb directly. I think they have their own software that you can download but I haven't tried that out. But I just wanted to make this video real quick just to show you how easy it is. It's not really like a in-depth tutorial or anything like that. It's just kind of my experience and just showing you how easy it is to get a photo book made. Now when I made this photo book, they were having a, I think it was like a 35% off sale. So it was actually pretty cheap. You know, I just got the standard size. It's not lay flat, but you could get a lay flat book. So the pictures don't lay flat. Now with the lay flat books, those are kind of cool if you want a picture that's blown up you know on both pages so here's the front cover with the picture it's full bleed got a little bit of text the back cover I got a little picture with a little blurb down below and then if you look at the binding it looks pretty decent it looks like it'll hold up but then again I haven't had it for that long the blurb it comes with this little advertisement at the end but it's not on the back cover which I really like and you cannot have it if you pay like five dollars extra you know, the paper quality that I got was the lowest, the cheapest one, but it still looks pretty good. It feels nice to turn and everything like that. These are some pictures that I actually took while I was in Hawaii. This is my wife driving. I took it with the T5i, and in the dark areas, it looks a little bit noisy. This is a sunrise that I took while I was out there. I just wanted to see what my pictures would look like printed. So that's another cool thing about having this book. The book looks nice, and overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the paper and the way everything turned out. It was pretty quick too. Turnaround didn't take that long at all. And you can see that you can customize the whole layout, put some text on the spine, everything like that. And it's so easy. So uh, let me just show you the process. Go take a look at my computer. So very simply, to make this book here in Lightroom, in the library module, I had all these photos from the wedding. Um, these ones are photos that I took the rest are photos that we had a photographer take of us and I've created a collection here called wedding and then once you create that collection you just come over here to the book module and They'll all be here um, So here you have auto layout and it just auto populates everything so with that being said When you have your library, it'd be good to kind of have the pictures in the order of sort of where you want them to go that way when you do the auto layout they'll kind of be where you want them to be. And then if you want to change anything, you know, like if you wanted to change this cover, you could just drag and drop and it'll switch the pictures around. And you could do that with everything here. So cool thing is here, you can pick how you want the cover to be. So you see here, I have a hardcover image wrap. You could change that and make it a dust, dust jacket or a soft cover. I like to have the images on the cover itself and then I also added just a little bit of text here on the spine here and a little blurb here with a small picture here. Now within here are the little cells, the picture cells. So you see I have zoom to fit cell. When you just put the picture in it'll come like this and if you want it to basically be like bleed to bleed, you know, full page bleed, then you just right click zoom photo to fit cell and then you can kind of move it around, position it how you want. So that's pretty cool. And another thing that you can do while you're in here, if you want to make some changes. So I have this template, but if you, if you want to change the way that it is, you just click right here and you can change the layout, you know, to whatever it is that you want it to be and then populate it that way. So if I want it to look like this, let's say I want this kind of text here, you know, whatever it is you want to do and you can do that you know with each one of these pages so you can make the standard template for the entire book and then if there's something if, if there's like a part in the book where you want it to be a little different 
you can go ahead and change it up. So that's pretty cool. It gives you a whole lot of options. You know, I'm not going to go too much into it just because I'm not really an expert. I've only made one book so far, but I'm just here to show you that, you know, if you have Lightroom, it's real simple to get one of these books made. Another thing that I like about it is you can pick all the options that you want here and it'll show you what the price is. So one thing that you should probably settle on when you first start is the size, you know, because if you format everything and then you think, oh, but I want to see if I want to get a large book instead, you know, it's going to screw everything up and then you're going to have to start everything all over again. So it's probably best to pick the size and then go ahead and start formatting everything. So here you can change the page bleed, text safe area, photo cells. That just shows, that'll show you the cells. The text safe area is this little bit here that shows you where text might get cut off. And then the page bleed just shows you where you need to get the photos into. And, and while you're in here, there's some keyboard shortcuts that you can use to change the view, but you can also come up here to view and from multi-page view, you could check spread view. That'll show you that spread. You can go to single page view. So you could just look at the single page and then you can come to zoom page view if you want to zoom in and see how everything looks. So it's a lot of options. It's real easy to put this book together. And then when you're done and you're ready to send it off, you just send the book to blurb and it'll send out. You could also save a PDF. Um, the thing with Lightroom, when you save it, it'll be two PDFs. One will be the cover and the other one will be the actual book. So it's real easy to do. You know, I think uh, if you want to get a book made, you should definitely look into Lightroom, the book module in Lightroom and send it to Blurb. And if you don't have Lightroom, you can always just go to Blurb's website and get a book made. And it's pretty, pretty quick, you know, 63 bucks for this book right here. It's not too bad. So I definitely look into it.